This is a buy a request video. Um, I'm sorry, dude, I forgot your name. But uh, you wanted a tour of the inside and outside of my van. I will show you the inside. Okay, the van I'm driving now is a 1996 Chevy Astral Waldock. It's kind of customized, uh, right out of the factory. And uh, there's a dashboard. I like the gauges, I like the heat gauge and the battery gauge. Let's just see if the battery's charging. There's a console, tape deck. Well, that's okay, I'm a little bit behind the times myself. Coffee bug holders, which are not that great. If you take off fast or something, it will probably spill onto the floor. Um, it's got this little glove kind of compartment here. Where I put a lot of junk in. Got a battery charge or a power con DC power converter for running my computer. You know, when I park somewhere like uh, I want, I want free Wi-Fi, like at McDonald's or library. This really comes in handy. It's pretty much all I need. And just uh, carry a lighter in there, you know, some plastic spoons or whatever, some matches. Um, the heater works, it blows pretty good, but uh, it doesn't blow good enough down by my feet. The vent or something's blocked up down there. And uh, I like the heat on my feet, especially in the winter. Another thing uh, kind of cool about this van is this uh, control panel here for controlling the lights and stuff. Um, it's kind of got this uh, interior lights, which I like to use at night because it's not real bright. It doesn't attract a lot of attention when I, I just want to see around, look around and back here a little bit and kind of control them. Disco lights. got the armrest which are good I can rest my arm when I'm driving some of the things I carry with me are a spray antiseptic spray bottle notebooks you know some more pens it's uh, I keep some tools under the seat the passenger side seat there so go in the back and take a look at that the front doors have these pockets here which uh, you can carry like a road map and that's where that one should be right now so th th you always need room to put something in you know um, this little pocket here I carry an extra pair of sunglasses or, you know, a multi-tool I had a toolbox, but I ran it over and I uh, smashed it all to hell. But uh, I also carry a lot of plastic bags because you'll uh, end up with a lot of garbage, like from fast food restaurants and crap like that. And so I put the garbage in there. And then when I uh, go to the gas station, I usually put it in a garbage can. I'm keeping my tools under there for now until I get a toolbox. Also carry a lot of water, water jugs. Because uh, you can get pretty thirsty all the time when you're on the road. Pea bottle. There's my box bed in here. My, uh, of my custom design here to fit my body. It's about like uh, six feet, six inches long. So I just fit, I fit in there really comfortable. I always carry a hot water bottle too. You never know when I'm gonna have to spend a night, what kind of night it's gonna be out here. And inside my cupboard, I always carry uh, paper towels. That's what I got in here. couple books on edible plants because I'm into bushcraft. So I'm out camping or something. See what's out there, see what kind of plants are around. 
notebook, a little carrying pouch here. I don't know, you want to put something in there? Insect repellent. Some shampoo. Flashlight. Hunting knife. Some kind of a shoestring. Binoculars, they're really cool because if you're sitting somewhere in a parking lot or something and you want to see who's uh, walking by and they're too far away you can't really see who it is. <laughs> I always carry these. <laughs> yeah, just stuff in here. Hand grip. I don't know, it's kind of an exercise thing. I kind of, when I'm driving or something, I was kind of Exercise my fingers a little bit when you're on a long drive. Batteries. Yeah. Scouring pad for cleaning out my frying pan. Uh, Got to put that in a better spot. Another notebook. Oh, I, I never cleaned this thing out. Green tea. So we got more batteries in there and some anti antibiotic ointment. Magic marker, that should be in my glove box. Alright. Okay, in the back here. We got a little folding chair to sit on if, I, uh, if I'm in a campground somewhere and I want to hang out for a few days. That'll give me something to sit by the campfire with. I always carry a tire pump because uh, sometimes my tires get low, you know, and they're, you have to pump them up a, a little bit, enough to get to the gas station. Um, this little, here's where my uh, jack is. There's a fire extinguisher. Carry a tire iron all the time. And a bunch of, I don't know, I got a bunch of bushcraft bow, bow drill, hand drill kind of stuff in there. Here's a, I carry a lubricants. You know, the lubricate the, do lubricate the doors, you know, to make sure they're opening easy. So I got in here, if, you, if you're, if your car, if your vehicle's like running low on fluid or something, you know, I always carry some extra fluid in here, like brake fluid, transmission fluid, or something like that. There's a gas line. Injector treatment, Lucas. I put that in one of these days. So yeah, I carry, carry some mitts, gloves all the time. If I'm changing a tire, you know, you get your hands get all full of grease and all dirty. So these are better for that. If you have trouble along the road somewhere. Oh yeah. I also carry an extra uh, gallon of uh, water or antifreeze, just in case I overheat somewhere along the highway. It'll give me enough to get, make it to the gas station or wherever, some way out. I'm gonna carry some sandpaper, these little pouches. I always carry a fishing pole with me, an umbrella, and uh, 
I got this at a rummage sale for a dollar. It's a pretty good um, thermos, you know, for putting hot stew in. That'll come in handy when it gets colder. Mm. Tackle box, carry with me. This is, oh, there's a kite. I was gonna fly that last spring and never got around to it. Huh. Maybe in a week or two. This little uh, magazine rack thing in here. I carry a hat, winter hat, skull caps, you know. So, yeah, and a road atlas. It's an old one, but still can come in handy. So this van was pretty much customized, like uh, it just ended up that way. I was just looking for any kind of van, really. But it, uh, you know, it's kind of tricked out on its own. And these, uh, I really like these shades pulled down. These blinds, I mean. You know, they pull down really nice. And pull up and stay up. They got these uh, sliding windows here. They open up, uh, let in fresh air and keep the bugs out. So, uh, yeah, it's working out pretty good. It's pretty insulated. This, this roof on here is insulated even. I had to take these seats out of here. There was a bunch of seats in here. And uh, I'll show you them. And those seats were really hard to get out of here. You know, they weren't the, like the uh, quick release kind of seats that they uh, minivans usually have. These were like bolted on. That was a real pain in the butt to get them off. I couldn't even. I can't even get this bolt off because it's so rusted underneath. So I had to tear them out of the van to get my box in there. And they weigh a ton. I mean, even the passenger seats like that, they must weigh like 100 pounds, 150 pounds each. This is like uh, close to 400 pounds here. And this uh, seat here, this big reclining seat, was just too small to lay on for me. It was really uncomfortable. So... So I just put those seats in the bushes for now. I gotta cover them up. They're nice seats though. I had to cut off these safety belts with my pocket knife to get the box in here because they were in the way. Um, oh, what, what, something else I wanna show you. This uh, van even had a little stereo. I don't know if you can see it down there. Little tape deck <laughs> stereo for passengers in the back. But it's all like uh, carpeted, you know, and kind of warm. It's uh, customized. It's, not even, it's even got this wood trim. Another view of the inside. Okay, on the Chevy Astro van, it has this rear hatch button to open up the back doors. But I don't like the back doors very much, and uh, I'll show you why. So you're going to put a board to hold these up. These, um whatever they're called, to hold the door up, the, the hatch up, are really just completely wore out. And uh, this hatch is really heavy. So 
so every time I want to get in the back here I have to uh, prop it up with a a 2x4 or something. And with this van it has that dog house which I don't really like. You have to take a, a screwdriver and uh, unscrew those bolts to take this thing off. I haven't taken it off yet, but uh, I, I should before I go on a lo real long trip. Okay, you can see under the hood here, everything is just compact. So tight. It's, uh, it would be kind of hard to work on. Oil dipstick, transmission, oil filler cap, brake fluid. You know, as long as I can get at them, I guess I'm okay. But it's, uh, really cramped. <laughs> okay, before I go on a long trip, I usually uh, spray some WD-40 on the uh, hood latches and on the door latches and all the hinges and the keyholes and everything. Oh, look. If you're looking to buy a used van, and if you want to make sure if it's any good or not, the first thing I do is I look underneath to see if it's dripping any oil or fluids or anything. Then I'll, uh, I'll look at the suspension to see if it's uh, rusted out, uh, you know, the ball joints, how they look. If that looks pretty good, then I'll take it for a, a, a test drive, like I'll get it up to like 70 miles an hour for, you know, like for about like four miles or something. See if it's uh, overheating or shimmying or uh, smoking or anything uh, or make a noise and if it uh, everything uh, is good you know if it's not doing any of those things it's it should uh, be a good van for you I paid a thousand dollars for this uh, last March and uh, I haven't put any money into it yet so you know it's I'm not complaining I think a lot of people, when they want to go on a road trip, they can get hung up with uh, the electrical power and what are, what are they going to do about food and everything. And I think as long as you can lie down in the back comfortably and have privacy, that's pretty much all you need because you can use free services like the library, grocery stores, the mall. You know, a road trip is about the people, the places. The experience and uh, so I'm drift with George uh, hope you enjoyed this tour of my van and uh, I'll see you next time